everyone, Megan Olivi here with Anthony Rumble Johnson. We're here in San Jose and Anthony's a big dog lover. So we're gonna walk Kona here around this beautiful park in the Bay Area. Talk about that upcoming fight with Little Nog and of course, you know, see what else he's up to. This is downtime. How, how long have you liked dogs? Like, did you grow up with a bunch yes, of dogs? Yes, I was raised around dogs. Oh, okay. I was, to me, it's a small farm. You know, I had, I had cows. I had dogs. What? Cows? Cows, man. I had a dairy cow named Peanut. <laughs> I did. I had a dairy cow named Peanut. And one day, Peanut was gone. And then the next day, my granddad brought out some hamburgers and was like, here go Peanut. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you cry? Oh my God. No, I ate Peanut. <laughs> peanut was But delicious. yeah, Peanut was good. Is it fun for you to fight somebody like Little Knock who is such a mixed martial arts name and, and you know a lot of people calling him a legend? He is a legend. To me, if you have the last name Noguera, you're, you're game. You're yeah. game for anything. Because these guys, you've seen it where Big Nog got his arm basically taken off and he still wanted, he didn't tap. Right. He didn't tap. That shows you the type of pride that, they, that these guys have. Absolutely. So fighting somebody of his caliber is definitely uh, entertaining for me. His jujitsu is better than mine. He's a third degree black belt. You know, you have to respect that. Right. But right. we'll see. I know my wrestling is better than his. He won't be able to take me down. That's that's just the type of confidence I have in my my, my skills. Yeah. But um, can he submit me? Of course. Can he knock me out? Of course. Can I knock him out? Most definitely. Yeah. So this is just a fight in my opinion that it can go either way, but I still think I possess everything that's needed to beat this guy. You wanna stay on the path, Kona? Kona. <laughs> reaction from the MMA world when you beat Phil Davis? It was great, but then as soon as I beat Phil, it got 10 times better, you know? Yeah. So it, it, everybody's been awesome, you know? I still have some people say stuff about weight and all that, you know, but it comes with the territory. Yeah, and now people are already calling for you to fight John Jones. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a matter of time, you know? I'm not rushing it. You know, I've seen guys say, oh, I want a, a shot at the mm -hmm. at the title, and then they get a chance to fight somebody who actually has fought for the title, and they end up getting beat up. Right. I don't right. want to be that guy, so I'm gonna just keep my mouth closed, wait until, you know, UFC thinks I'm ready, and then I'll go out there and do my job. But I'm not finna call anybody out, because there's plenty of food out there to eat for everybody in this weight class. You're a very respectful guy, too. Doesn't I, seem like I try to be, now if this was me five years ago, I would have been talking all kinds of crazy. Yeah, so what happened? Uh, you really matured. Went through a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole thing with being cut from the UFC, I had to reevaluate my life. I think I just came to the conclusion that, you know, this is just where I need to be. And at that time when I was doing all of these things, I, I made sure I cut out all the, 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 the negative things in my life. So even though it was probably at the time the worst thing that had ever happened, it It was the worst, the worst, the worst and the best. Yeah. You know, the, at the same time. Yeah. So I, I, I'm not upset with UFC for what they did. I'm very, very thankful because if they hadn't have did what, by cutting me, you probably wouldn't be talking to me right now. Right. You know what I mean? You want to fight for the best, you know? Because yeah. if you feel you're the best, you want to fight for the best. And I feel like I'm one of the best in the world. Oh, she sees a cat. Oh, maybe, <laughs> hey, Kona? Hey, Kona, I don't... Come on, Mama. Oh, oh, God. All right, does. yeah, she is focused. Yeah. Rumble, thank you so much for spending some downtime with us today. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's, yeah. been, a, it's been a pleasure. And thanks, Kona. You did so good. You're a star. Yeah. She don't know how to sit still. She's just she, ready to go. She doesn't care at all. <laughs> Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks.